everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Vivalina and this weekend is very special for me because we have a double feature of Tanami Desert Zoo. Because while I was editing this video for the Springbok and the Gamsbok habitat, I also wanted to have the African shops in there, but it just was too long of a video, so I separated it. Um, anyhow, if you are new to the series, make sure to also check out the rest of it, because there are already quite some videos out of other builds in this Tanami Desert Zoo, and I would like to say they are also like different types, so I think it could be quite interesting for you. Also, if you like the video, don't forget to already hit the like button and to click subscribe to see what else is coming up in Tanami Desert Zoo. Anyhow, let's get back to our speed build right now. As you see, we are building a valley for them. So the spring box and the gams box are gonna have a nice little valley where the guests can look inside from above. And I thought, honestly, in my heart, that even though these are very shy animals, it would be fine. Because look at the difference in height they have and this water body in between, like the guests being like super far away. But nope, these animals still got stressed out. And this annoyed me so, so much. <laughs> um, as a reminder, if you are new to the series, this zoo was built in challenge mode. This means I had to take care of these kind of things. So at some point, I think I just put like glass, double-sided glass. But way later, when I finally transferred the zoo to a sandbox zoo, because apart from like this animal stress, everything else you can uh, is fine a sandbox like the money was already not relevant like you see we're at seven hundred thousand dollars so it doesn't really matter like the economics are taken care of after like three different habitats animals in some exhibit animals which is what we are way over here especially with interesting animals then it doesn't matter and your zoo is just a money machine meaning you can build freely so at some point moving to sandbox didn't actually mean that much more except for the fact i finally did not have to take care of this animal stress which is really really annoying because even when i build in sandbox i try to also keep to the animal requirements of plants and so on um but yeah, here we are building a little enclosure, but it's rather a big enclosure, in my opinion. Like, it's quite big and they have space to run around. And still, once they started getting babies, it was not big enough. And I had to constantly check to remove some of the family and release them into the wild. Um, yeah, here I missed a little bit of recording, so some items are already placed. But now we go into the plants. And I was quite surprised of how many plants I can actually put here. I mean, we're in a desert zoo, maybe I shouldn't have, but this has been kind of the point of the series. I placed more plants than originally would be logical in a desert zoo. And here, I think for a second, you see how far away the guests are and these animals still being stressed. But I guess if your predator stands atop a hill, it doesn't matter if there's a river separating you, you would still get scared. So I kind of get it. It's just annoying. I try to remedy it here with the little um, speakers, which do the ambient sound, which reduces the stress for the animals. But I have not really seen any effect of it. So then we went into building their little habitat, um, not habitat, hard shelter space, which actually went through so many renovations during my whole playtime. Like I changed this so much like now you will see me placing also some double-sided glass because stress and i still wanted the guests to see them but later on i kind of changed that and i like how it turns out at the very end of course we will have cinematics so if you already have had enough of listening me talk and watching me build you can jump right into these i will of course put down the chapter mark um yeah so i think actually like this is just it for the building then I also did a lot of rocks around it. So like I have these four rocks, which I copied the wall, but also later I mix it with some other rocks, just making sure to settle those kind of in. And you know, if you had like a valley like that, you also would have the rocks on the side, which kind of stop the erosion from the sand coming down or so. You know, it's not super realistic, but uh, the zoo was never meant to be. I also just don't think I have the patience for like super realistic builds. I'd rather like to keep it fun and nice looking like over realist any time just because that's my fun in the game. Um, yeah, so maybe a little bit about Tanami Desert Zoo. Like as I mentioned, it was built in challenge mode and the zoo is already completely finished. So in the cinematics, it might be that you see some parts which were not part of the speed build and I'm super sorry. But this just happens out of the fact that I like 
had this crazy time of just building and recording everything in the meanwhile and I just did the cinematics later as well as jumping in between builds which to be honest didn't always make it easy with editing those videos of the habitat builds because I had to go through various files checking where I made changes to the habitat which is also the reason why sometimes things are missing. I also struggled a lot here to decide where I put down the education boards, like in the shop kind of viewing area behind the shops. Um, if you haven't seen it, you can watch the video about the shops as well on my channel in the Tanami Zoo playlist. Anyhow, these shops also were supposed to have the double function of, you know, having the guests just in the viewing area, reducing the stress for the animals, but it also didn't quite work out like I wanted it to. And yet later on, I decided to add a second viewing area from the sign, coming in from another habitat, which we will see next Sunday on Tanami Desert Zoo. So I think there's like next Sunday and then another, just the speed builds. And then in three weeks, actually, we'll already come the final video, which is the tour video where I will go through Tanami Desert Zoo and then I will also make it available on the workshop for all of you to check out if you want. So um, just letting you know this in advance and if you don't want to miss it out, don't forget to subscribe. Um, yeah, so here you see me starting with the rocks and I wanted to mix also the rocks textures because I like how that looks then and I think some part of me also thought it would make the animals happy if there were some rocks. Maybe I should have put some plants down in front of there, but so the animals see the guests less? I don't know, but then the guests also would have seen the animals less, right? So I'm not sure if that would have made any sense whatsoever. I also mixed here into the wall some natural looking rocks just, you know, to mix it up a bit. And those are basically also the three types of rocks I have in this whole zoo, so it blends in well with the other parts of the zoo. I really like how much vegetation, how much foliage I could put down here. It's I don't know, it really makes this habitat look a bit alive and also having the animals run through there, it's just really nice, which is why later I move their whole cabin way to the bags to see them more running around and potentially stressing my animals. I feel like I'm starting to repeat myself, so I think this is where I am gonna say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed the rest of the speed build and of course the cinematics. And if you like the video, don't forget to also hit the like button and to subscribe to my channel, to comment and let me know what you like, what you didn't like. And I hope to see you again in next Sunday's video with a brand new animal in Tanami Desert Zoo. With that, I hope you have a lovely weekend and I wish you a lovely day. Bye!